What is up guys? We're back with another Sonic Speed Simulator video. Today we have another every skin video. We're going to be looking at every Knuckles skin. As you can see, we're already playing as Knuckles and we have the Knuckles toy robot just as a little comparison there. Uh, yeah, we might as well start out with standard modern Knuckles. He's a pretty basic skin, but they kind of just use him as a base model for Knuckles though. So as a base model, he's pretty great. He has all the details you you would expect, like the green socks, the little Lego pieces on his shoes. I don't know what those are. <laughs> and the purple eyes, of course. He has a little grin. He's pretty great. This is his running animation, which they use for a lot of the reskins. And he has a red boost, which was added later on because originally when the skin was first released, they didn't even have boosting in the game. So the boost had to be added later. And essentially that's it, that's Knuckles. Let's move on to the next one, Treasure Hunter Knuckles. He is an epic skin. And he's a pretty great one, honestly. He has this brown leather jacket, of course, the famous cowboy hat from the Sonic OVA, and more recently, the Knuckles series. He has these black and gray gloves, which are really cool. He has a star patch on the side of his jacket, similar to the one that's on his hat. It's actually the exact same. And he even has this little green pouch hanging from his jacket. Really, really cool. I just noticed, is that a rope? It's like phasing through his legs, so I can't really see it too well, but it looks really awesome. He has brown leather shoes to kind of fit with the whole treasure hunter vibe. His running animation is exactly the same though, and his boost is also the same, just red. But that's that's Treasure Hunter Knuckles, a pretty awesome reskin. Now we have our boy, one of my favorite skins of all time, Adventure Knuckles. He is a legendary skin. He has the sunglasses from Sonic Adventure 2, the like, I forget what it's called, breathing device that like helps him go underwater that's on his chest and it actually works in this game so if you play as this skin and you go underwater you have an infinite like breath meter which is really awesome i'm glad that they added that little detail in and he has the like they're not the shovel claws i forget what they're called they're like the big metal like boxing gloves from Sonic Adventure 2 that allow you to break through metal crates they don't do anything in this game because of course, you can't punch anything, um, but it's really cool just to have this skin in general. Other than that, everything else is the same. Same running animation, same boost, same everything. It's just the case of an outfit swap. But honestly, it's a really cool one. I like that the sunglasses are actually glowing, and yeah, this is just honestly a really awesome skin. I didn't talk about the idle animation. All three of them have had the same idle animation so far. He kind of just has this regular stance and then he does a little punch move and then gives a thumbs up, which you can't see his thumb right now because it's hidden by the metal boxing gloves. Let's move on to the next skin though, kind of a basic one, Rider's Knuckles. He is an epic skin and he looks pretty cool though. He has custom shoes straight out of Sonic Riders with the little zippers on the socks. He doesn't have like the Lego piece, it's just like a flat gray piece instead with these little like buckles underneath it with a yellow triangle, kind of interesting. He's got these straps on the back of them, pretty cool. And he has these purple goggles that are wrapped around his neck. Here's what he looks like on his Red Rock hoverboard, pretty awesome. He doesn't put on his goggles though. I don't know why, he just, he likes them around his neck as a decoration. He isn't like actually wearing them for some reason. He's too cool for that. But that's Rider's Knuckles. I'm glad that we finally got some sort of Rider's reference in a Sonic game because who knows if we'll ever get another Riders game. Next up, we have kind of an interesting one, Camper Knuckles. This was released alongside the Big the Cat update from what I remember. He has this like goofy camper hat with these like dad sunglasses <laughs> and he has these binoculars around his neck, which is really cool with the strap in the back. You can kind of see it there. And he has these like hiking boots on, really, really cool. Again, same running animation, same boost, same idle animation. But as you can see, he's actually giving the thumbs up this time. In the little menu screen, he looks a little goofy though, because the the bulky the bulky binoculars are like really sticking out. It just looks so weird. Next up, we have an interesting one though: a legendary skin, fake metal knuckles. For the longest time before these were added to the premium spin wheel or any sort of spin wheel. These were pretty rare skins, but now they're somewhat common. It's a pretty awesome one though. He has a custom idle animation where 
He doesn't really move, he just does a custom pose, which is nice. He has the glowing red eyes like Metal Sonic, and he has this black and red chrome effect all over him. Really, really cool. His running animation is the same though, but his boost is black and red, which looks really, really nice. It really complements the whole chrome color scheme of the skin. This is, of course, a reference to Sonic Heroes. And honestly, it's a really cool one. He has the pointed nose as well, similar to Metal Sonic and the rest of the fake metal skins. Maybe one day we'll get some more fake metal skins like Shadow, Rouge, Omega, and the rest of the Sonic Heroes teams, Team Rose, Team Chaotix. I think that would be really awesome. Next up, we have Skeleton Knuckles. He's a seasonal skin. This is just kind of a basic reskin. They just painted like a skeleton on him and he has these gray and black gloves to kind of fit with the color scheme matching his shoes with the black and gray, well, more of like a white trim on the soles. And yeah, he has this skull painted on his forehead which looks kind of funny. And of course, the all the different bones painted all alongside him. Really interesting to see like the tailbone painted on there. I think that's cool. Everything else is the same though. Red boost, same running animation, same idol. I think we're gonna be saying that quite a bit because they they like to recycle a lot of things with Knuckles. It's, it's usually the same running animation, same everything else. Next up though, we have another reskin, Reindeer Knuckles. He is a seasonal skin. He has these reindeer antlers, which look really awesome, and a brown jacket with the little white pom-poms. Very festive. It, this is an awesome skin to wear during the holiday season, of course. But yeah, same everything else, same running animation, same idol, same red boost. But this is honestly just a really awesome seasonal skin. I'm not sure if this is a reference to like Sonic Channel art or anything. If I can find that, I'll put it on screen. But either way, I just think that this is a really awesome one. I love the Christmas ones. Ooh, next up we have a Sonic Prime themed skin. Renegade Nux, he is a legendary skin. He's a pretty detailed one. He's got this like, I don't know if, I think it's a beanie with a little Renegade logo on there. He's got these like scratches all over him, all over his like dreads. He looks pretty great. He's got this black strap on him as well on his body. And he has like these spikes on his hands, um, but it seems like an attachment. Like he doesn't usually have the spiky knuckles. So he instead has this attachment where he's able to have three spikes, which is really cool. He does a, a thumbs up, but instead of like a grin, he's doing like a frowning face. So it's funny to see him do the thumbs up, but he's like, mm. look at that, <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> the inside of like his brass knuckles or whatever he has up over his fist is green, which is interesting. And he has these metal plated boots, which is cool. He even has metal plating on his socks, which is an interesting detail. He has this pouch that's attached to his body strap. Really interesting. Not sure what's in that pouch. I guess we'll never know. Same running animation though. Same everything else. Same boost. But at least he's got a different expression though. He's doing a frowning face instead of the usual smile. Ooh, and next we have Ray Suit Knuckles. He is an exotic skin. He's a really cool one. He has this black, green, and yellow color scheme to him. And he's got these black and yellow goggles on. He has a little like emerald shard on his chest which is really awesome reminds me of a piece of the master emerald and he's actually wearing a full race suit which a lot of the skins don't have the, the race suits in particular like the sonic and shadow ones they're just wearing jackets it's not like a full race suit jumpsuit like this one I'm glad that they actually gave a few of them an actual race suit, but it makes me wish that they would go back and fix the original ones, you know, and give them actual race suits instead of just a jacket. But either way, this is a really cool one. I love his black and yellow shoes with the green socks, of course, and the jumpsuit just looks really great. Same everything else, though, like, like all these other Knuckles skins, I don't even need to repeat myself, really. Ooh, and next we have an interesting one, Knuckles the Dread. This skin was leaked months and months before its release, and we thought that it kind of was scrapped forever, but sure enough, we ended up getting it eventually, which was really great. He's a really detailed one. I really love this one. He's got the pirate hat, the big grin with the gold tooth, the crazy dreads that like some of them are curled upwards with these different bandages, these black like bandages on them and even these like brown leather straps which look great he's got these brown gold and black 
gloves, does the same idle animation though, they couldn't be bothered to give him his own idle animation. But he has this awesome jacket with an undershirt and like, I don't know, like a cravat kind of thing. <laughs> Looks really great, the white with the purple and the black and gold, of course. The color scheme is really nice, he has these like generic pirate boots though. Black and brown, same running animation though, same red boost, but I just think that this is a really awesome skin. And a great Sonic Prime tie-in, to be honest. Ooh, next up we have another interesting one, Diesel Punk Knuckles. Another one that was leaked way ahead of time, but was scrapped for a while, and then we finally ended up getting it eventually, but it ended up being actually similar to what the, the photo was. I remember the Shadow and Sonic one, were the ones that saw the most changes, but the Knuckles one was probably pretty similar to this. He's got this little steampunk bonnet on, or hat, whatever, uh, with these steampunk themed goggles, of course, strapped on there, and these little gears on his forehead, which is really nice. He's got this steampunk jacket, again, with the gear hanging off of it, little gear necklace there. Brown and gray gloves, but the inside is like this light beige, it's really nice. And that color scheme is kind of spread throughout, it carries over to his shoes that also have that light beige strap on them. And what's really awesome about the steampunk skins is that they have like these gears coming out of the shoes, which is really cool. Same running animation though, same boost. I don't know why like they didn't just give him like a brown, well, it's kind of a brown boost, I don't know. I can't really tell if it's like different at all. It looks, no, I don't think it is different. Yeah, I think for this one, it would have been a nice like final touch to give him like a brown boost, but it's not the end of the world, to be honest. He still looks great. Ooh, next we have another interesting one that we wanted for a long time, Movie Knuckles. And I mean, they did a really good job on this one. I gotta say, he looks like he's straight out of the movie, but of course simplified because it's Roblox, right? So they could only do so much. They couldn't give him as much detail as the model from the movie. So he's simplified, you know, you don't see his individual quills and all that, but his face looks great, like his, his face actually looks like what Knuckles looks like in the movie. He has a custom running animation, which is great. He like holds his arms out there. Really, really cool. They kind of went all out for this one. It's more of a premium skin. And when you boost, he has the red lightning effect, similar to how Knuckles looks in the movie, of course. He has these more like realistic looking boots, which look really, really cool. They have a zipper on the socks. And yeah, it's just really cool to see those like added details to the shoes. He has a custom idle animation as well. We'll take a quick look at that. He like stretches, gets ready to fight, and then like punches his knuckles together. Really, really cool. He's got this like serious face. I don't know what's going on. There's like a flicker effect going on with his eyes. They should probably fix that. <laughs> but other than that, honestly, he looks really great. I'm really pleased with this one. Shortly after we got movie knuckles, we got series knuckles. They essentially just gave us the same skin again, but with a cowboy hat and called it series knuckles. Cowboy hat is fairly detailed compared to, I think it's, it's, it is different from the Treasure Hunter Knuckles. It's a little bit more detailed with the leather and it's, it's got the same, you know, three stars on there. But everything else is exactly the same, I believe. Yeah, his running animation is the same, same boost and same everything else. It's just the case of an outfit swap. Crazy that we even got reskins for the movie skins, which is amazing. But hey, I'll take it, you know, I, I don't mind, uh, a reskin for this one since it is such an awesome and premium skin. Oh, and next up we have a controversial skin, Gold Style Knuckles. He has a plus three event star at level five. Hopefully we'll be able to get him maxed out at level six soon, but he's a controversial skin because he's the first, alongside Gold Style Rouge, he's the first limited skin that is limited to a certain number of pieces, 250 pieces of the skin were made, and eventually they'll probably release more, but fans were really mad because, of course, they don't want limited skins. They wanna be able to collect every skin in the game, and the fact that this one is limited, you know, a lot of people aren't able to access it, made a lot of people mad, and made quite a few people actually quit Sonic Speed Simulator, so I'm hoping that GameFam will actually listen to the fans and remove these limited skins from the game. Not remove them, but just once they do these gold style skins, don't make them limited, you know? You can make them a little harder to get, but don't limit them to a certain number of pieces because that's just unfair, you know? Anyway, let's get into the details though. He has this like fedora cowboy hat that looks like it's straight out of your dad's closet. 
black leather with the gold highlights and of course that just kind of spreads throughout that color scheme of course black and gold all throughout he's got this like golden and black strap with the stars and that strap kind of carries over to his shoes it's got the gold strap with the stars on there of course same idle animation though same like everything else same running animation Oh, and he does have a gold boost. I think they updated that. You'll have to go back and watch like the original video we did on these skins. I think it was about Sonic Speed Simulator promoting gambling. I showcased these skins when they first dropped on the test server. And I think that originally he had a red boost, but they've updated it so that now he has a gold one, which is cool. I'm glad that they, they fixed that. Overall, I do like the skin, but I just wish that it wasn't limited so that everyone could grab it. The people who are able to grab this skin tend to resell it for like for over a hundred thousand red star rings so it's getting kind of crazy on like the resale market just because it's like a quote-unquote rare skin i mean it is rare since it's limited to 250 pieces and it's very hard to get on that gold egg machine but anyway we might as well move on to classic knuckles there's only a few classic knuckle skins as you can see three of them total we have the standard one here he is a legendary skin. And of course, they use this one as a base model for the two other ones. He has a big old head, but he looks really, really awesome in game. They did a really great job with this one, to be honest. Like, his icon looks super, super goofy, I find, but then in game, he looks a whole lot better, I find. There is his custom idle animation where he does the, the classic Knuckles laugh from Sonic 3. His shoes are a little, like, simplified and look a little more similar to how they looked, you know, on his classic model he just looks really really great though i love his i love his running animation but his legs like flinging everywhere like classic sonic does look a little goofy when you boost though he has these little sparkles that come off of him to mimic the invincibility power up from the original classic sonic games and his jump animation is also a little more similar to what his jumping looks like in the classic sonic games as well this skin was released alongside the speed jungle zone and honestly it's a really really great one it was released alongside classic amy and honestly i think i prefer the classic amy one a little bit more but this one is really great as well we're gonna skip pixel knuckles for now because we'll check him out at the end in cyber station zone but let's go ahead and check out the only other reskin ray suit classic knuckles oh my god he's glowing like crazy because we got his aura on let's turn that off real quick he is a level four skin though right now and he has a plus three event star at level four which is pretty great he's one of the few skins that have that event star stat it's race suit cream race suit classic knuckles and gold style knuckles those are the three that have that stat right now i don't know why they chose those specific ones but anyway this is probably my favorite of the classic knuckles skins of course he just looks so great i love the whole classic race suit look just looks really nice the whole retro theme i love the goggles on his forehead the green goggles with a brown strap really cool you can kind of see the you can kind of see the strap in the back there it actually wraps around his head underneath his dreads he has a black white and green jacket with these little like darker yellow um, stripes on there. You can see those a little bit. The yellow is on the inside of his gloves as well. A little bit hard to see. You mostly see the gray and green with the white stripes. I love how they made his knuckles look like drills almost. I think that that's just a really cool touch. And he has the black, yellow, and green shoes with the little straps around his socks, which are like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but they like move kind of when he does like, Look, they're moving right now. That looks so weird. I don't know, that probably wasn't intentional, but anyway. He has a 94 on the back of his shoes as well to, of course, match with Race Suit Classic Sonic and Race Suit Classic Tails. 94 was the year that Knuckles came out. Came out in Sonic 3 uh, in the year 94. So that's a cool little reference there. And he has the same, you know, running animation, boost, all of that. But he's a really awesome skin. Anyway, let's jump over to Cyber Station Zone and we'll check out the final skin, Pixel Knuckles. Okay, so here we are in Cyber Station Zone. Let's go ahead and equip Pixel Knuckles so we can check him out. I mean, we might as well check him out in Green Hill Zone as well since he is slightly different from regular Classic Knuckles. But let's check out his pixel form first. He looks... He looks a little bit derpy, I don't know. I love the blocky effect on him though. 
I think especially his knuckles look really awesome. And his shoes, look at those blocky shoes, really cool. Same everything else though, same running animation. Boost is is slightly different. I mean, the color is different for sure. Yeah, he does look a little bit funny, I don't know. He has these like pixels coming off of him, which is really awesome, love that effect. But yeah, this is a really awesome one. I wish you could play as this pixel version outside of Cyber Station Zone though because I never come back to this zone, I'm gonna be honest. Like, there's no reason for me to come back here, so I never really get to see this skin outside of this zone. <laughs> here we got him flying a plane. We'll fly over to Green Hill, and we'll check out what he looks like outside of Cyber Station. In case you guys, for some reason, didn't know, this skin is a reference to Sonic Superstars, the Cyber Station zone level, of course where you could go through a portal and transform from classic Knuckles to like this pixelated version. Usually you see him from like a side perspective in that game, but now we're seeing him like front on, which is why he looks a little bit derpy, you know? A lot of these skins don't translate too well to 3D, like the Sonic one looks a little creepy in my opinion. The Tails one looks pretty cute, but the Amy one also looks just as creepy as Sonic I find, and the Knuckles one just looks not creepy, but just a bit derpy. And if you try to spawn into Green Hill, this is what happens. You become regular classic Knuckles again. I'm not sure if you guys can even notice the difference between Pixel Knuckles and Classic Knuckles. There is an actual difference though, funny enough. I'm sure some of you do know what the difference is. Of course, he obviously has these like pixels coming off of him, these red and yellow pixels. Also these white and yellow pixels as well, but he's like way more saturated than the regular classic Knuckles. So I actually prefer this version. I love the saturated look. I think it looks really awesome. The really like bright red, whereas the regular classic Knuckles is kind of like this pale, like muted red. I'm kind of glad that they, they went with this slightly altered version. For the pixel version, I think that the saturated look looks really awesome, honestly. But that is every Knuckles skin in Sonic Speed Simulator. In future episodes, I'm sorry guys, I originally said that we are going to do these every skin videos every week, but they take a long time to record, obviously. It's like a big chunk of time that it takes to record, and then editing takes a long time as well. In future episodes though, we're going to be covering, of course, Amy, Rouge, and I think we'll do Shadow as well, but then we're gonna have to start lumping characters together because, I mean, Metal Sonic could be like a short episode, but I think that we'll do a separate episode on like robot characters, and I, I, don't, I don't know about the others. Like we could do Team Chaotix, I guess, but then we have some random ones left over, you know, we, we could do the Babylon Rogues together. But then, I don't know, maybe Amy will have to be lumped in also with the rest of Team Rose, but I, I don't know how we're gonna go about that just yet. And then there's just randomly like Silver and Blaze as well. So we'll likely be doing Amy and Shadow separately probably, but then from there we'll have to start lumping some of these guys together because it starts to get crazy. And, and some of the skins don't have any reskins, like E10,000G, obviously he just has the one skin. And Charmy, at the moment, he doesn't have a race suit skin at the time that I'm recording this, so it's just the one skin, you know? I'm not gonna make a whole video just to go over two skins, it's a bit much, but... But anyway, we'll see what happens once we get to that point, I guess. Yeah, these videos take a whole lot of work, so if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to your boy. As always, we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers, and once we do, I have a surprise for you guys planned. You're not gonna wanna miss it. You're definitely gonna wanna be here once we hit that mark, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Pop, 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 pop.